What's up guys, it's I State Blasian, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood black and Asian, back again with another life story. I haven't done one of these in like a hella long time, so I figured I would, you know, start off the week with a kind of, a kind of tidbit, a stoner experience that I had in the past. So anyways guys, my upload schedule for this week, if you guys wanted to know, you probably didn't, but uh, you know, today's video is going to be about steamrollers, and I got two more life stories, and then on Thursday, it's going to be commentaries till Saturday, and on good old Sunday. Sunday, I'm gonna be doing a stony Q&A or a blaze Q&A number two So before you even watch this video before you skip to like the beast ass life story that I'm providing Throw down like three questions in the comment section I'm gonna be asking you guys that like every single day up until Sunday so I can have like a good amount of questions But you know enough of that shit. <laughs> well, let's jump right into the life story All right So as you can tell I'm gonna be talking about steamrollers judging by the title above or below depending on where you guys are watching this Steamrollers for those of you you who don't know if you're new to the situation of just you know smoking the ganja uh, a steamroller is basically a dry pipe with a big ass fucking chamber with a big ass carb depending on the size of which one you get it it is just like it can be devastating from just like the average like mediocre hit i'm gonna throw up a picture later on in the story of what i smoked out of but uh yeah enough side information about steamrollers let's jump right into this life story like all of my life stories mainly start off with this took place like sophomore year and I always go to explain that my sophomore year I was just getting into weed like probably was a little too much honestly but you know fuck it and makes it for good YouTube videos so like being the little sophomore I stay blazing that I was I had not smoked out of many things at this time like the only thing I'd smoked out of was like a glass blunt a can maybe a dry pipe maybe a metal dry pipe but my friend Trevor on like this day in sophomore year he was just like hey bro I got one of my old pieces back I don't know why he he got it back or something like maybe a friend borrowed it or something but he hit me up over text and was just like yo i got my steamroller back you should definitely come over and smoke out of it it's gonna be fucking lit yo so i was just like all right dude let's let's go try something new let's go fucking smoke out of a steamroller so i'm on my way to his house and he's just like hyping it up he's like yo you're not even ready for this shit you're probably gonna vomit he was giving me all the warning signs of just like you shouldn't really hit it hard you shouldn't really do it and boy did i not fucking listen so as soon as soon as I got to his backyard, he let me in and he was just standing there with this fucking behemoth of like a giant ass. Just what the fuck is this? Like I'll throw a picture up right now, but oh my god, like I was just so intimidated at the sight of this thing. I was just like, nigga, I don't even know if I want to get high anymore. Like, uh, can I can I smoke a joint? Can can I rip a bong? Like, I don't want to do this at this point, but you know, I'm a trooper, so I was just like, alright, dude, let's let's fucking try. It. so he takes me back to his shed you know it's a good story when it sounds like that so oh yeah shed stories <laughs> but anyways guys he takes me back to his shed and he's like all right i got some fire ass weed we got this steamroller we got this lighter what you about to do blazing what you about to do so i'm just sitting there like okay <sighs> i'm like i'm preparing myself i'm taking deep breaths i'm just you know oh i'm just hyping myself up for just he's like you're literally going to go from sober to high immediately after this one hit if you milk it and i was just like do i really want to milk it probably yep yeah i do so i grabbed the steamroller and i'm not even gonna lie my first hit out of the bitch i fucked up i was so new to smoking at the time that i just didn't know how to hit a steamroller you know i thought there was like you know a back to it i thought there wasn't you know a giant fucking carb that's on the bottom of most steamrollers so um i kind of got a little smoke off my first hit and it was just like oh okay that's how it hits uh that's not how it hits explosion that's really not how it hits okay so the, the second time that i hit the steamroller i put my hand over the big ass carb i milked the shit just like you would like a bong or some shit which i hadn't smoked at the time but you know i was milking it i was seeing the smoke in this glass chamber just fill up and i'm like oh yeah that's concentrated thc so i'm just like okay takes hand off of the fucking carb and just shotguns the fuck out of my lungs yo like if there was ever an example of how to explain how shotgun my lungs lungs were it would probably be a gears of war 2 reference if you guys ever played gears of war 2 you know active reloading and shotgunning on host used to be the fucking shit okay so basically the weed was like oh yeah there your lungs are i'm host you're fucking dead so it just oh my god it hit me so hard this was damn near the first time i threw up from fucking weed um link to a fucking video about me throwing up on weed card in the right hand corner if you guys want to check that out self-promotion <clears throat> subscribe but anyways you know i was just sitting there 
there like, holy shit, did this really just happen? You know, sophomore Blasian was just not ready for this shit. He just got fucking gangbanged by fucking weed out of a steamroller. I was done after that, to say the least, but you know, it was an enjoyable time. I really am like really glad that I actually hit the steamroller. I wouldn't really recommend buying a steamroller for you guys that are new and for you guys that are like OG stoners, you probably hit a steamroller before and probably had a similar experience. So if you guys had had any similar experiences, feel free to throw those down in the comment section below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to thumbs it up. Yeah, guys, don't take big hits out of steamrollers. This has been I Stay Blasian, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood black and Asian. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.